What's up everyone? This is Herd85. Welcome to episode number 17 of my WCW A Done Deal series. We are now into September 2002. For those that are up to date, it's a quick recap. We are now at national level, which is obviously a big deal for WCW, considering you fall to cult size at the start of this game. Nitro is now three hours, Thunder is now three hours, Goldberg's back in the company, uh, and Sean O'Hare is my current world champion. He is very much so living up to the potential that WWE didn't quite see. His charisma skills are, are pretty good now, so uh, you'll see that in the future of this game. Uh, I'm kind of going in a little bit of a new direction. I know I can't say this a few times, but I had the New Blood Old Guard feud. But I'm now going to be pushing some of the younger talent and booking them against the legends. Because uh, I feel like it, really. <laughs> so uh, here we go. First Nitro of September 2002. Uh, James Storm and Chris Harris open a pre-show defeating Matt Seidel and LaParka, who obviously don't work very well as a tag team. I do actually have some plans for Planet Jarrett. Uh, it basically involves a face turn, but I'm um, just, uh, it needs a few angles and segments first. Anyway, AMW, who are only low mid carders, I will probably look to feud them with a legendary tag team, maybe the Steiner, Steiner Warriors, maybe. Anyway, 63. Few uh, veterans of the roster. David Boy Smith defeats Hugh Morris and Finley with the running power slam. This was a pre show, 64, onto the main show. Jeff Jarrett and uh, DDP, uh, Jeff Jarrett, DDP and Monty Brown come to the ring, both complaining that they should be world champion because they didn't win their feud. Uh, DDP and Hollywood. They interrupt, so DDP and Hollywood's feud with Punk and Vamp Hero is now over. I've decided to end that one. Got a 100. Uh, this was not a feud. This is just a thrown together match to get the shelf to a strong start and to give me a main event, really. A tag match, Super Crazy and Crowbar teaming up are defeated by the Enforcers. Chris Candido, CW Anderson. Yeah, they're starting to get XP now for their tag team chemistry. 58. Uh, Buffy Bagwell defeats Chris Hero with a buff buster. So Bagwell was one of the contenders in that world title feud. 76. Here we go. You'll see a few of these segments. AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Samoa Joe, Frankie Kazarian step out of a limo, all suited and booted and make their way to the arena. Bad influences here, 69. Dustin Rose in single action defeats Norman Smiley with the Darkness Falls, 59. Raph and Booker T are walking backstage when they are stopped by C Canyon and Nigel McGuinness. After some training some insults, Carino attacks Booker T and Raph from behind with a steel chair. Canyon and McGuinness join in, and then they double team Booker stomping a while while Carino gets some cheat shots in on Raph. They're left lying in pain. So I ended the triple threat tag feud. This is now a normal tag feud. Booker T and Raph, Carino, McGuinness, and Canyon are forming an alliance. They've been an alliance in the past, of course. Canyon and Carino, my former tag champs. McGuinness is in there, and they are going to be called. The leaders of the new school, 100, that got. So leaders of the new school was a stable, a British stable between uh, Zack Sabre Jr. and Marty Scott, I believe. Wow, following on from that beatdown, Nigel McGuinness and Jimmy Yang give us an 86 rated match for the US title. McGuinness retains, wow. Oh, I told them to go out and steal the show, they certainly did that. Uh, Buff Bagwell, Shane Douglas have a heated confrontation with uh, Kenny Shamrock and Chad Collar and before nothing happens really. So Chad Collar, for those that don't know him, 
who's actually about 27 years old in this game. He's actually quite a good technical wrestler. So he's got good menace as well. So that's why I've paired him with Shamrock. And obviously Bagwell and Douglas have pretty good chemistry. So, and good uh, charisma skills. 100. The new tag team on the scene, Lynn and Danielson, defeat the Naturals and the Windham and Rotunda. Danielson makes Rotundo tap out with a label lock. Yep, this is my new tag team, Lynn and Danielson, 72. AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Samojo, and Frankie Kazarian come to the ring. They are rubbing everyone's nose in the fact that they are unstoppable and intend to continue their streak of dominance. So these young lines, bad influence, 73, but this was just giving them some TV time. Six man match, Amazing Red and the Filthy Animals defeat Hayes and Future Vision. Kidman defeated Shannon Moore with a shooting star press. Set 82, very good match. Sting and Luger cut a promo and they promise they'll get their revenge on Styles, Kazarian, Daniels and Joe. Uh, they just need to be just need to be start about it. I think they just need to be careful about it, that I was supposed to say, not start. Just need to start about it. A single match. Ken Shamrock defeats Alex Wright, belly to belly suplex, 74. Another singles match, Boss Man defeats Conan. So a bit of a, a redemption win here for Conan, um, Boss Man over Conan, who lost him last month, I believe. He also is coming off his pay-per-view defeat to Goldberg. Bischoff interfered, 78. Rick Flair of... I've misplaced the order here because we're missing the segment here. Ric Flair and Mike Awesome go to uh, Eric Bischoff and request a tag match against Kurt Henning and Dustin Rhodes. This is going to be pre-booked for Thunder. Uh, Bischoff accepts the request. Singles match. Lance Thorne defeats Shane Helms. The Canadian Maple Leaf has got an 80. So this was the angle that should have come first. Mike Awesome is in the ring, cutting an interview. Henning and Dustin Rose come out and enter the ring. They go back and forth with insults. The heels attack, two on one. Ric Flair, though, comes from the back, hits the ring, cleans house and saves Awesome. 98, that's Ric Flair's return, official return. And the tag team match they asked for should have been in the next segment. But hey-ho, that'll do. 98. A tag team match. Vampiro and CM Punk defeat the Steiner Warriors. Punk makes Rick Steiner tap out to the Anaconda Vice. Tag chemistry, tag experience. 85 is a, a very good rating for a non feud match. Right, here we go. Planting the seeds already. Sean O'Hare's in the ring talking about his recent success. His Segment for this was on entertainment. However, Goldberg shows up and crashes the party. Sean O'Hare and Goldberg brawl, but as he gets the upper hand, Sean O'Hare escapes from the crowd. Now, I am making it official already. Full brawl, main event, one on one. Sean O'Hare versus Goldberg. That is happening. Hopefully good raid. Main event, based on the promo from the start of the night, Hulk Hogan, DDP, get a win, a redemption win, again like Bossman's redemption win. They defeat Jeff Jarrett and Monty Brown, DDP hitting a diamond car on Jeff Jarrett. 76. The first show gets an 86. Good start. Got to remember there's some fresh, fresh feuds in there. As we uh, get loading, uh, Raw beats me for the first time in a while. Raw got an 89. Shawn Michaels defeats Chris Jericho by DQ. That got a 99. All right, what have we got here? Mike Sanders, Mel Sanders, sorry. <laughs> I've got a bit of news telling me Buff failed the storage test. Shocker. 
Well, if we got, what if we got? <laughs> Nunzio title victory, huh? Uh, that's Dusty Rose's company. Glacier is the world champ. Defeated Ludi in the main event. And uh, yeah, not a lot of news there. Let's crack on. Okay, Smackdown, got an 88, Chris Benoit defeats uh, Kurt Angle by DQ, 98. Danny Doring and Rogue Kills contract are coming up in my developmental. Uh, they've been doing okay, but I have no plans to run the main roster, so I'm going to let them let them go. Hayes is there. You know what, I'm kind of tempting. Add Amazing Red to the Filthy Animals after his six man tag with them the other night. The other night? The other show? Last show? You know, time to give Red a chance. Filthy Animals had a few in it. Ooh, ooh, what have we got here? X Division Championship changes hands. Paul London defeated Kaz Hayashi. Uh, I've got a few contracts coming up. Hiroshi being one of them, I think Kevin Sullivan was the one. Where is he? I think he's in my development. Yeah, he is a uh, developmental trainer. And I want to keep him down there. He's actually been alright. Developmental trainer, giving him a two year deal. He's going to stay. Hayes' his contract's coming up. I think it's time to let Hayes go. The experiment is finishing. He's, he's done good though. Uh, Paul London versus Kazayashi for the exhibition title got 64. Fergal was the star. He took on David Arquette for the world title and David Arquette retained. The exhibition title is better rated than the, than the world championship it seems. Let's see their prestige. Prestige. X title is an 80. London holds. World title is also an 80. That Arquette holds. Arquette's held it for a while. Right, up next will be Thunder. Uh, the early book match is Ric Flair, Mike Awesome taking on Kurt Henning and Dustin Rhodes. Right, so here we go. So, as normal, the pre-show, the Naturals picking up a win, a much needed win, they ain't won in a while, over Cesaro and Finley. So Cesaro is still young on my roster, so plenty of time to try and get him over. Another pre-show, the boss man defeats Matt Seidel, Evan Bourne, whatever you want to call him. Again, pre-show match, just because there was nothing for him on the main show. Uh, so I was testing out a few angles using Mike Tanay as an interviewer because he's the co-commentator, he's the announcer for Nitro but for thought I'd use him on Thunder. Talked to Lance Storm, hyping a match for later. Vampiro gets a singles win over Super Crazy, it's got 75. Vampiro shows some hints of a face turn. So yeah, I'm considering it. Give Vamp something to do. Tag team match, quite a short one. Dangerous by design, defeat Future Vision. Chad Collar mate Shannon Moore submit with a Texas Clover Leaf. Only got 60. Uh, the camera picks up Shane Douglas and Buff Bagwell. Watching the match backstage, 81. CM Punk in singles action defeats La Parker with the go to sleep. Got 79. Styles, Daniels, Kazarian, and Joe burst into Dusty Rose's office and tell them they are taking over. That's got a 70. Uh, we are in Puerto Rico, by the way, and not many people's openness is pretty massive there, but I had to run a show there. Shane Helms feats Chris Candido. After hitting the vertebraker. 
73. Uh, just again another promo to get DDP and Hogan used on the card. It's got a 95. Canan defeats Psychosis with the zip lock 64. Still not bad, even though they didn't have didn't click apparently. Brian Danielson and Jerry Lynn defeat Kid Cash and Hayoshi Hayes. Lynn this time with the Cradle Power Driver picking up the win, 71. Backstage segment in again with Mike Tanay. This time with Dustin Rose and Kurt Henning hyping their main event against Ric Flair and Mike Awesome. Singles match. Raf defeats Chris Canyon when Canyon was disqualified when Steve Carino ran in and attacked him. 79. Raf has been attacked 3 on 1 by the leaders of the new school. Seeing the assault. Booker T comes running out and saves his tag team champion partner. 88. Have I already pre booked this? No, so I'm going to pre book a match for full brawl. Let's make it a bit different. Mm. Let's have a look. Toying with uh, making it maybe a cage match or something. Still debating, still debating. Let's have a look. Keep it on the same screen for ages. That's okay. Well, yeah, yeah, we'll go cage. Tag team cage match. Booking it for full brawl. We're going to have Booker T and Raph against Carino and Canyon. Tag title match inside the steel cage. Right. America's most wanted. Pick up a big win over the Filthy Animals. Chris Harris picking up the win by pinning Billy Kidman off the death, death sentence, 78. Uh, AJ's in the ring. He calls out Sting and Luger. As soon as they come out, they're jumped by Bad Influence and Smojo, who were lying in the wings and ambush Sting and Luger, who were totally destroyed. So the Bad Influence have their targets, Sting and Luger. Made to pay, 76. Singles match, Lance Storm defeats Jimmy Yang after his promo earlier, 79. Monty Brown, Jeff Jarrett are hanging out backstage to discuss a match. Jarrett acts like a dick and brushes Brown off, 85. Jarrett and Brown then suffer a defeat to the Steiner Warriors of a fast roll up, 79. For the match, Monty Brown and Jeff Jarrett get into an argument uh, over whose fault it was. Neither look happy, but they put the differences aside and leave together. As you can see down with the storyline, planting the seeds now to split up Monty Brown from Planet Jarrett. Goldberg's in the ring. Sean O'Hare, this is what I want. Me and you, one-on-one -on -one for that pretty little belt you hold. And it's all said and done, I will be champion. Sean O'Hare appears. You want a title shot, you got it. 99, that's just to make it official. Even though I said on Nitro it was happening, I just wanted to add an angle to pre-book it. Main event, eh, not as high as I was hoping. Ric Flair and Mike Awesome defeat Kurt Henning and Dustin Rhodes when Ric Flair made Kurt Henning tap out to the figure four. 77. Yeah, 85 is all right. Can't really complain. Just sort of building new storylines, really. So, oh, here we go. Randy Savage honoured. Now he's retired. In the WCW Hall of Fame, WWE Hall of Fame. BG James, the star of my developmental. Oh, you didn't know. Okay, cool. Nothing too relevant. <clears throat> Funny. Oh, 
corner, so sad. Look at that, Danny Davis passed away. I'm sure he was the uh, owner of OVW. So another death in my game. China, the star. Surprised they haven't given her the world women's title. There you go, that's Alberto De Rio. Jerry Ryan, huh? Uh, Scott Steiner's back after injury cost him his uh, world title shot. Okay, some more news. Kevin Sullivan resigns for my developmental or not? Yeah, it does. Let's have a look. Noah, New Japan, Jamie Noble. Jamie Noble seems to be, uh, Seems to be smashed. <coughs> Pardon me. Yeah, Jamie Noble seems to be doing all right in my developmental. It's looking a bit. The skills are looking pretty good. Again, another one probably would benefit being on the main roster now, but my main roster is pretty stacked, so I'm trying not to call up too many at once. Incoming for that every week. That's pretty much all. Taka Mishinuku here. Hey, I can bring Taka back. He doesn't want to be signed for more than nine months, but yeah, I'll bring him back. Bring him back Taka. Helps my cruiserweight division a little bit. Right, up next will be a Nitro. Let's get Nitro going. Hopefully a fun main event. So a random five man match. Like I said, over stat roster, but here we go. David Boy Smith defeats Crowbar La Parker, Cesaro and Hayes. Running power slam, boom, one, two, three. Gets a 64 rating. Another pre-show, CM Punk, Boss Man and Shane Douglas. None of them were booked on the show, so Threw them together just to give them a nice easy win against you, Morris Sidell Smiley. Shane Douglas with the win. 74. So the main show. See, ah, Sean O'Hare's in the ring and he's interrupted by the return of Scott Steiner. They have a big argument and start brawling. Staff break him up. And as they're being pulled apart, Eric Bischoff appears and books him in a match tonight. A world title match as well. 100. Vampiro defeats Amazing Red with a nail in the coffin. It's got 59 and they have great chemistry. That's pretty cool tonight. Dusty Rose decides to book a rematch between the Steiner Warriors and Jeff Jarrett and Monty Brown. 8-2. Cruiserweight match. Jimmy Yang defeats Kidman Crazy. Alex Wright, Kick Cash and Psychosis. Hits the Yang time and pins super crazy. It's got 75. Sting and Luger come to the ring and lay out an open challenge to any of Kazarian, Daniels, AJ or Samoa Joe to face them tonight in a tag match. The group come out and accept the challenge. 82. US tight defence. Nigel McGuinness defeats Chris Hero. Tower of London. This is his 11th title defence and they also have great chemistry. Chris Hero is just uh, an enhancement talent on my roster at the moment. Kurt Henning and Ric Flair do a contract signing. Dusty Rose is in hosting it. Flair signs a contract. Henning 
Jots his name down to make it official. Flare attacks Henning. The attack fails as Henning leaves Flare a lying. So, Flare and Henning will finish their feud and I'm making it a 30 minute Iron Man match at full brawl. Buff Bagwell defeats Chad Collar in a one on one match. It's got an 81 to continue their little feud. Shamrock will face Shane Douglas on Thunder. Carino, Canyon, and McGuinness are backstage. When they are attacked by Booker T and Raph. This is them getting a little bit of revenge. 98. And I'm going to book a match for Thunder. We're going to have Booker T. And he will face the US champ, I think. Nigel McGuinness. See how Nigel gets on there. Four-way tag match. Lynn and Danielson continue their form, beating Future Vision, the Enforcers and the Naturals. Brian Danielson makes Andy Douglas tap out with the label lock. 73. Chris Harris and James Storm see Jeff Jarrett and Monty Brown arguing about what Dusty Rhodes said, but back off and decide not to get involved. 82. And then AMW go out there and pick up another big win. Defeating the Filthy Animals combo of Rey Mysterio and Conan after help from their manager Melina. 79. For those that watched TNA back in the day, Melina's playing the role that Gail Kim played, just serving as AMW's manager to help him out. Great heat, great wrestling. Lance Storm defeats Mike Orson by submission with a Canadian maple leaf following a distraction from Dustin Rhodes, considering. They didn't click. This got an 85. Here comes a tag match. Sting and Luger defeat Bad Influence. Kazarian and Daniels. When they were disqualified when AJ Styles ran in and attacked Sting. During the match, Samoa Joe also attacked Luger. So Kazarian's obviously had no overness at the start of this feud. So it'll be interesting to see how he ends up. We're only two weeks in. 79. Following the match, Luger and Sting are being attacked by Bad Influence, Sydney Assault, Hogan and DDP come to the rescue. That's right. This is how I'm trying to get all these youngsters over, bring in Hogan, who won't be burying, hopefully. <laughs> A rematch from last show. Monty Brown and Jarrett actually pick up the win this time against the Steiner Warriors. Jarrett pins Animal for a handful of types for a cheap win, 77. And then in the main event, Sean O'Hare defeats Scott Steiner with a Widowmaker. This is his seventh defense, only 79, but you know, there's no storyline build to this, so I knew it was. Following the match, Sean O'Hare and Goldberg have a heated stare down and exchange of words. Sean O'Hare holds the title up high. Goldberg stares into the belt and says, That will be mine. A 100. Got an 85 for the show because Zarian was used too much. To be fair, you kind of expect that when um, I'm trying to get someone over. Major Guns contract's coming to an end. I don't even know who she's managing, to be honest. Raw got an 86, Kane defeats Scott Hall got a 90. I'm sure I just saw Mauro Ronaldo's name comment. Juice and Liger joins All Japan, he's already out of All Japan. Not sure who that guy is, but let's see if I can see Mauro. That's the wrong one. Oh, yeah, there you go. And he got a 51 for his announcing at the moment. Is Mike Awesome being managed by? Yeah, Mike Awesome is being managed by Major Guns. Isn't really, I might as well. I suppose I better keep her on. Just give her a one year deal, I guess. You never know when uh, the female talent can come in handy. Right, let's have a look at Kazarian. 
Kazarian's Overness. He is still is now been bumped up to opener. He started with the highest Overness he's got is 36. He originally started like 26. He's gone up about 10 in Overness points. Which is pretty good considering I'm just chucked him straight in the deep end. Oh, Samoa Joe's contract's coming up. To be honest, I'll just give Joe like a five year deal. And who else? Cesaro's contract's coming up. Uh, to be honest, I'm not using Cesaro right at the moment, so I'm going to let Cesaro go. I like him, but, you know, he's, he's just, unfortunately, a jobber on my show. Hmm, Big Daddy V. Vissera? Oh, they are actually using him as Big Daddy V. Huh. Cool, cool, cool. New champion in WCPW. WCPW? That's WCWPP power plant. Uh, Brian Adams, aka Crush, is your new world champion. Or the other half of Chronic, depending uh, what you prefer. I'll put him down there because he's been uh, injured for a while, to be honest. Looks like they're going to be feuding. Oh, here we go. WWE have come in for Samoa Joe. Oh, wow. They've they've offered Joe a big contract. Great. So, it looks like I'm in a bid and war to keep Samoa Joe. Right. The early book match for Thunder is uh, Shane Douglas versus Ken Shamrock. Alright, Thunder is already. Here we go. I've given a spotlight on a big man event. So, standard. The standard. The pre show. Eight man tag. A Cesaro team gets the win when uh, C.W. Anderson defeats Super Crazy with submission 62. Amazing Red sustained a sleepy head in this match, apparently. Uh, wow, great chemistry. Hmm. Uh, Chris Candido defeat David Boy Smith for the Blonde Bond Shell 74. Uh, I might stick this on the pay per view just as a generic singles match. Main show, Mike Awesome who has got very good charisma skills now. It's improved over the last few months. And um, Ric Flair call out Dustin Rose and Kurt Henning. They don't respond. 98. Matt Seidel gets a big win over Kid Cash. He hits a move called the Aftershock. That got a 60. Might tweak that to the shooting star. Shane Helms defeats his old running buddy, Shannon Moore, with the Nightmare on Helm Street, 76. CM Punk and Vampiro are talking backstage, catching up really, nothing storyline wise really. Bossman defeats Hugh Morris with the Burba Slam, 60. Jeff Jarrett and Monty Brown are seen arguing again, 99. AMW cut a promo backstage, 64, so even there, Melina helped them both through. At least they're getting better as well. So, AJ Styles, Christopher Daniels, Frankie Kazarian and Samojo challenge Sting, Luger, Hogan and DDP to an 8-man tag match. Sting leads them out after a stare down, the challenge is accepted. So, this will be a 4 versus 4 match. And we'll go for an elimination match. Have they got an elimination match? 
yeah, total elimination, there we go. So AJ, Daniels, Frankie, Joe versus Sting, Luger, Hollywood and Diamond Dallas Page. That is your full brawl match. Big chance for the youngsters. Uh, Lance Storm defeats Chase Stevens in a one-on-one -on -one match with a Canadian Maple Leaf. Again, Storm's in that limbo at the moment. Another one I'm not sure what to do with. Henning and Rhodes finally appear and they accept the challenge of Ric Flair and Mike Awesome, but it's not going to happen tonight. It's going to happen on Nitro. So that will be a pre-booked tag match. A rematch from a few weeks ago. The leaders of the new school defeat Lynn and Danielson. Canyon hits Jerry Lynn with the new, well, it used to be called the Bloody Encounter because it was the new blood, but now it's called the new school encounter. 76. Jeff Jarrett loses again, to, this time to DDP, following botched interference from Monty Brown. 78. Both of them have a heated argument. Monty Brown attempts to calm down Jarrett with a peace offering. Jarrett amazingly thanks Brown for his troubles by hauling him off and slapping him across the face. Jarrett storms off in a huff, leaving a bewildered Brown at the desk. Ken Shamrock defeats Shane Douglas by submission on the ankle lock, and he also broke Shane Douglas' ribs. After the match, Bagwell and Douglas and Dangerous by design won't stop fighting and security tends to break them up. It ends up in an all-round brawl to the back. 87. Goldberg defeats Vampiro with a spear. 78. I've got a feeling that that's probably going to be the rating for Goldberg versus Sean O'Hare. Let's hope not. Talking of which, following the match, O'Hare and Goldberg have a stare down opposite side of the ring, psych themselves up and they go to charge until... Numerous superstars pull them apart. 100. Steiner Warriors back in action together. Defeat Filthy Animals. Scott Steiner makes Mysterio submit with a Steiner recliner. 84. Main event. And I gave this a bit of time. And an exceptional non-title match. Booker T defeats the US champion Nigel McGuinness in 20 minutes with the scissors kick. 87. Following the match, Booker T is attacked by the leaders of the new school. Ref comes running down to the ring to save Booker. His appearance allows Booker T time to escape, but the attackers turn their aggression on Raph and leave him beaten down to the map. 97, so that damn 91, pretty cool thunder. So Booker T. Nigel McGuinness there, giving me a good main event. <laughs> Brian Adams wants to be promoted, so Shane Douglas has a broken rib. And he is out. Oh, he can work for it. I've also got a rival bid from WWE for Samoa Joe. I'm hoping Joe sees the light and stays with... WCW, where the big boys play. Oh, TJ Wilson wins. That's Tyson Kidd. Wins the North American title. Off Sanjay Dunt. And the new women's champion in Angelina Love. Angel Williams is Angelina Love. So many developmental people want promoted. Double check WWE gone for Samojo again. Sable's contracts up. Mm, I 
I suppose I'll add another year. Takamishinuku is resigning. Good lad. Can be a heel this time. Del Rio's got himself ripped. China with star performance. Huh. Shelly Martinez and Cloudy. Well, I do have half the ring of all the talent in my roster. That's probably why they're not being used. Like Punk and Joe and Danielson. Booking position now available for OVW after Danny Davis died. It looks like, there you go, Rick Bassman Bassman has become the uh, owner. Oh, what have we got here? When worlds collide, WCW power plant. Main event was Jidrak and Stacey had defeated Brian Adams and Paul London. Also Kevin, Kevin Owens, Austin Aries, Abyss. Colt Cabana, quite a few talented people. Here we go, John Cena puts the star performance on. This probably sounds like a list to us right. Jimmy Jacobs and John Cena defeated Mike Bennett, who is Mike Canales, and Kenny Omega. Could be a potential dream match for some people. Crowbar's gone from WCW. Yeah, let his contract go. I've got to the phase now that I won't keep people around if they're not sort of used a lot. I wouldn't be surprised if WWE pick him up. Alright, up next is our Monday Night Nitro. Nearly said Raw, but it's Nitro. Here we go for some Nitro. So pre-show match, uh, Amazing Red, La Parker teaming up, defeat Future Vision. La Parker picks up the win with the Inseguri on Shannon Moore, 64. Jimmy Yang defeats Matt Seidel, Cruiserweight match with a Mishinuku driver number two, 57. Main show, right, DDP, Hogan, Sting and Luger have an interview and they basically are putting bad influence on notice that these veterans have still got something in them 99 super crazy making it on the main card picks up a huge win against Alex Wright the crazy bomb 57 we find Jeff Jarrett and Monty Brown who agree to work together and get on the same page 76 Chad Collar in singles action, he defeats Finley. That's got a 64 Texas Clover, Clover Leaf. So that means Chad's definitely improving if he's getting 64 rated matches now. Eric Bischoff is shown talking to Goldberg in the locker room. He informs Goldberg that Sean O'Hare is waiting for to confront both of them in the parking lot. Pumped up by the thought of the confrontation. Goldberg heads out of the locker room. Bischoff has a wide smile on his face before following. Ooh. Boss Man defeats Chris Hero with the Boss Man Slam. Finally changed the name of it. 59. DDP. Booker, Booker T? No. DDP Hogan. Sting and Luger attack Kazarian backstage. Target somehow manages to run off. So they scare Kazarium out of the building. 86. Star Warriors in a tag match. Defeat Rotundo and Wyndham. 71. Christopher Daniels is on his way to the ring. When all of a sudden he is attacked by Hogan, Dilly P, Sting and Luger. 84. 
This leads to David Boy Smith defeats Christopher Daniels in two minutes to win the hardcore title. Basically, Hogan's crew cost Daniels the title. AJ Styles is on his way for singles action. He is also jumped by DDP Hogan Sting and Luger. Let's go an 83. And then that leads to AJ Styles losing the Cruiserweight Championship to Shane Helms. He lasted a bit longer, only 6 minutes 48. He was hit with a vertebrae breaker, 77. Backstage, Samoa Joe is not happy. He says he wants Sting tonight for the TV title. Bischoff accepts. Punk and Vampiro having a match together to defeat the Naturals. The nail in the coffin, Vampiro 1 2 3. So they still have great chemistry. Punk looked good, Vamp looked good. Jarrett, Monty Brown, AMW have a little bit of a backstage promo. 83. And then they have a match, and Planet Jarrett are on the same page. They beat Lynn Danielson and the Filthy Animals, Monty Brown picking up the win with the pounce, 78. Carino, Canyon and McGuinness are attacking Booker T and Raf. Suddenly, Scott Steiner comes out and runs off Carino, Canyon and McGuinness, saving Booker T and Raf from a bad beating. Now the reason I've done this, Booker T and Raf are taking on the leaders of the new school in a rematch for the tag titles. However, now I'm going to pre-book at full brawl. Scott Steiner will get a United States title match against Nigel McGuinness. Mike Awesome and Rick Flair in their rematch defeat Kurt Henning and Dustin Rhodes. Awesome hitting the awesome bomb on Rhodes. Picks up the win, 76. Following the match, all four battle all the way to the concession stand. There's a big scene that resembles the food fighting Animal House. By golly, the mustard is being used. 97. Ups, well, I guess you could class this. Continuing the tag view, Buff Bagwell defeats Ken Shamrock. Pinfall illegally using the ropes for leverage. I pre booked this one yet? Nope, so I'm going to. We're going to have Shamrock and Chad against Douglas and Buffy. Not the Vampire Slayer, but Bagwell at the pay per view. Cameras hurried backstage in the parking lot where Sean O'Hare is brutally attacking Goldberg and it's caught on camera at 100. Bischoff led him to the parking lot and Sean O'Hare beats the tar out of Goldberg. 100. Main event. And they have great chemistry in the show. Cool. Sting manages to defeat Samoa Joe by submission to retain the television title. It's got an 84. So overall, 89 for Nitro. It was definitely a night for Sting, Luger, Hogan. And Paige, they got a bit of revenge on bad influence, costing them both their titles, their single titles, and also retaining their television title. So it's going to be a bit of a, it's not going to be one and done this feud. I'm going to be trying to build up styles and, I mean, Shane Helms will be a good cruiserweight champ. He was my original, I think. And David Boy Smith, the hardcore title is a, it's more of a mid card title one anyway. So David Boy will be all right with that. So let's see how much openness got affected there from AJ losing that title. No, it's still good. It's still improving. As long as they keep going up in the. Uh, Just keeping an eye on Samoa Joe. He keeps saying 
he's getting offers from WWE. Obviously, I don't want to lose him. Alright, so we got an 89. It was 89, wasn't it? Yeah, it was. Raw got a uh, probably high 80s as well. Raw got an 86. Scott Hall defeated Shawn Michaels again by DQ. Ultimo Vampire. Hmm, never heard of him. Tanaka. I, mean, I wonder if I can bring him back. Nope. I'll get him. And that's Paige's mother. Right, let's move on. Move on up. Smackdown 87 Kane defeat Triple H clean. Jeez, I didn't even have a DQ one. There we go. Finn Balor is looking good anyway, and his uh, stats big feet. Oh, doesn't like fighting someone bigger than him. Because it's part of the Mama Luke. All right, WCW versus the world. China keeps shining. So, uh, for the regulars that listen. I'm tempted now to make a women's division. I've got quite a quite a lot of female competitors in my developmental. Oh, look at that. My developmental has done a work in agreement with CWF. All right, let's do a little developmental update. Let's just show you the uh, developments. All right, so first off, here is that's obviously me. Here's my Canadian one. Good in Alberta. You got Chuck PG, Jamie Noble, John Cena's moving up now. Bobby Roode, Mike Canales, Jimmy Jacobs, Lethal, Williams, Omega, Hart Dynasty, Sanjay, Low Key, Drew Galloway, McIntyre, Roderick Strong, Kevin Fawn, Joey, just loads. The female division, in case you were wondering, goes from about here, Miss Natural, so fairly decent. The other power plant, we've got <laughs> David Arquette, Tank Habit, basically the ones that were on the WCW roster that have just bumped down there. Paul London, Saban, Finn Balor, Biss, Teddy Hart, Eddie Young, Austin Aries, Shelley. Generico, Anderson, Kevin Owens, Carlito, Great Carly. The female division is a lot better down here. Runs from here to here. China, Mickey James, Kaylee Birchill, Daphne, Cheerleader, Beth, Mercedes, ODB, Gail Kim. So, yeah, pretty, uh, pretty stacked female division in developmental. Just need to, if I bump them up to the main roster, I just need to find space for them to be honest. Okay, Thunder is sorted. Here we go. Alright, bit of a random tags. Wanted to see if Cesaro and Storm had any chemistry, but Stunner Warriors pick up the win with Stunner Line. Some big names in this match. Goldberg on a pre-show defeats Dustin Rose because he's selling injuries he had on Nitro. So don't expect him on the card. 
Man Show McInnes, Carino, Canyon, the leaders of the new school, come down to the ring, take microphones, and they're interrupted by Steiner, Booker T, and Raph, and it's agreed they will meet in a six man tag later on tonight. 100. David Boy Smith defeats Hiroshi Hayes with a running power slam. This is his first title defense. It's only two. Another promo from Planet Jarrett. Followed by a six man tag. However, the filthy animals actually pick up the win over Planet Jarrett, Monty Brown, James Storm, and Chris Harris. 79. AJ Styles and Christopher Daniels backstage with Eric Bischoff. They demand the match of Hogan and DDP tonight. Bischoff accepts. 83. Mike Awesome squashes Shannon Moore with the Awesome Splash. 77. Sean O'Hare and Eric Bischoff have an interview where they taunt Goldberg. It's got a 100. The Naturals defeat the Enforcers with a fast roll-up, 64. Stars, Daniels, Kaz and Joe attack Luger and Sting backstage, <laughs> but only end up getting beaten up down themselves. I'll talk about, talk about burying them. AJ invented a new catchphrase. Cruiserweight match, Chavo defeats Yang and Kid Cash. 69. Boss Man defeats Hugh Morris for the Boss Man Slam. 70. Bagwell and Douglas and Dangerous by Designer in the ring. They've had enough and they attack. Eventually, both Collar and Shamrock put through tables to make a point. The segment ends with Bagwell and Douglas standing over their fallen opponents. 96. Big rating. Vampiro defeats Brian Danielson with a nail in the coffin, 78. Vampiro did some face turn hints in this match, 78, yeah, like I said. CM Punk defeats Jerry Lynn with a surprise roll up, 83. That would have been a cool match. Flair and Henning again fighting backstage until they're pulled apart, 99, building towards their pay per view match. Tag match. Styles and Daniel showed excellent chemistry. I kind of knew that was going to happen. Uh, Hogan and Page defeat AJ and Daniels when DDP hit the diamond cutter on Christopher Daniels. 75. Got to remember Daniels' crew is only, they're all uh, overness is in the 60s when Hogan and DDP are high 80s, 90s sort of. Big gap. After the match, Joe, Daniels, Kaz, and Styles beat down Hogan and Page. 88. Main event. Very happy with that, right? Scott Steiner, Booker T, and Raph defeat the leaders of the new school. Steiner made Carino tap out with a Steiner recliner. Following the match, Scott Steiner floors Nigel McGuinness and poses with the United States title. 99. So, a big old 90 here for Thunder. Shows you that. The main event scene is stacked when people like Steiner, Booker T, the Guinness Canyon headline. Still got loads of people wanting promoted to the roster. We've got some news, contract negotiations, Samoa Joe agrees to stay. Gotta love that, Smile Joe. Thank you, sir. Uh, I'm gonna promote a couple of developmental guys, probably not people you would expect either. I'm looking to promote the former ECW tag team champions. I don't want to give too much away. Jamie Noble. 
you know, they're not exactly like massive names, but Chris Candido wants a pay rise. Yeah, it's fine. So we got some news. Takamishinuku rejoins WCW. He was. Did I give him a title run? No, I have not given him a title run yet. He was in a tag team called The Empire for me. That was with La Parker. However, La Parker's a face. Saban shines. Hail Saban. Huh, Julio De Nero. So, OVW doing some signings there. of anniversary so CMML John Cena's the star he's normally teaming with uh, Jimmy Jacobs Twisted Disco Knee interesting uh, name for it Danny Doring ready to be called up Given. Right, hang on, I've got a road kill as well. So, yeah, like I said, not the uh, probably not the most biggest tag team in the world, but their contracts were coming up, so I thought give them a one year deal. Danny Doring and the uh, Angry Irish, Angry Amishman. I can't even say it. Anyway, Unforgiven got a night to Triple H defeated Undertaker to retain the WWE World Title. I got a 99. Kurt Angle vs Regal was on the card. <laughs> Malinka vs Big Daddy V. There's some awful matches on that card. Oh, what's this? Never World Championship Wrestling Canada. So, what's my own pay per view? I didn't even realise I made this one. Anyway, John Cena's the star again. Tank Abbott. Right, up next will be the last Nitro of the month. Okie dokie, here we go. Another upset on the cards here. Right, Luger in action on the pre show defeats Alex Wright. Torture Act 63. Filthy Animals, Mysterio and Conan defeat the Enforcers. Candido, CW Anderson. Uh, that got 73, that's not bad for a pre show. So, we kick off the show. With AJ Styles challenging Hollywood to a match one on one tonight. AJ versus Hogan. 92. Uh, upset. <laughs> wow, great chemistry, huh? Uh, Super Crazy defeats a legend of this business in Barry Windham with a fast roll up. This got 60. A little bit of a mini push for Super Crazy. So we've got a turn here. Jeff Jarrett 
James Storm, Chris Harris attack Monty Brown, but only end up getting beaten up themselves. Because Monty Brown is a beast, that's why. 82. Matt Seidel gets a win. He beats Mike Rotundo. 60. The return of Takamishinuku. He defeats his old tag team partner, La Parker. Taka will be playing a heel this time. 69. Mike Awesome saying he's got Ric Flair's back. 77. Geraldine and Brian Danielson get back on the winning ways. They defeat the Naturals with the LaBelle lock. 73. Dangerous by design. Their feud with Bagwell and Shane Douglas is definitely picking up steam. Another 100 segment. So I do Menace for Chad, Menace for Shamrock, and Entertainment for the other two. Doring and Roadkill making their first main roster appearance. Didn't quite go to plan. They lose to the Steiner Warriors, former three time tag team champions, the Steiner Warriors. 71. They did a freestyle segment. Basically, Hogan tells Bischoff his match with AJ. He wants it to be a steel cage. Bischoff accepts. 88. Cruiserweight title defense. Sugar Shane Helms defeats Amazing Red, Chavo Guerrero Jr. and Psychosis. Hits the Vertebraker. Breaker. 36. Monty Brown says it's not over. He calls out Jeff Jarrett. Challenges him to a match. This will happen at Fall Brawl. So Monty Brown will go one on one with Jeff Jarrett. He accepts by brawling. 98. Lance Storm, one on one with Billy Kidman. Picks up the win. Submission, Canadian Maple Leaf. 80. So. AJ and Hogan about to go. Suddenly, Daniels, Joe, Kazarian, AJ swarm the ring and attack Hogan. Unable to fend his aggressors for long, Hogan is soon outnumbered and beaten into a state of submission before the steel cage is lowered from the ceiling. Despite overwhelming numbers, Sting, DDP, Lugo rush down the aisle to try and back him up, but can unable to breach the cage. Letting Hogan get further punishment the match then goes ahead yes this happened AJ Styles defeats Hollywood Hogan in a cage with the Styles clash took Hogan a bit convincing but it's time to put people over mate 79 Sean O'Hare Goldberg Goldberg jumps O'Hare before throwing him into Renee Merrill's dressing room where she stood half naked, 100. Kurt Henning defeats Mike Awesome, illegally using the ropes for leverage, 76. For the match, Flair makes the save as Awesome's getting beaten up, 99. And a rematch in the main event. This one was a total elimination style match. Leader of the new school. This time they get the win over Steiner. Booker T and Raph. Raph was eliminated first. Then Carino. Then Canyon. Then Scott Steiner and Booker T. Leaving Nigel McGuinness the last man standing. And we got a good old 90. For... Nitro. That should have easily beaten Raw, you'd like to think. So Raw, I got 90, Raw got an 86, Edge and Scott Hall went to a new contest. Alright, I want to have a quick look at something on my roster. I wanted to see how over AJ got for that, and to be honest it wasn't a lot. Now, he started off the 
It's now getting into the 60s. Hogan's still in the 90s. But hey, he did the job. Got to establish AJ as the leader of the group. Picking up a win over Hogan helps with that one. Smackdown. Got an 84. Jericho and Hall teamed up to beat Edge and Christian. Bit of a random one. Tempted to, to call up Brian Adams, but he is the developmental world champion at the moment. Oh, dropping some metal. Alright, up next is. Oh, don't eat it on the brink, huh? You know, they're European, so mm, I'm not really going to bail them out, I don't think. I used to love buying developmentals. Uh, Katarina Walters becomes the Divas champion. Kate Lee Birchall, in case you're not sure who she was, WWE. I prefer her as uh, Winter in uh, Impact Wrestling. Right, up next, the last bundle before the pay-per-view. Okay, Thunder is ready. The last one before the pay-per-view. Six-man tag, Alex Wright, Kid Cash, Icosis, defeats La Parker, Red and Seidel. 61, another pre-show match, the boss man defeats Norman Smiley. 64. Main show, DDP calls out some Ojo to agree to meet later on tonight. Part of the Upstarts vs Stingers crew match, 97. Lance Storm defeats Chris Hero, another Canadian Maple Leaf for the win. Sort of, he's lost in a shuffle at the moment. Super Crazy picks up another win. This time he's teaming with Yang and the Naturals to beat Cesaro, Finley, Wyndham, Rotundo. Crazy beats Cesaro with a crazy bomb. Luger and Sting with Bischoff. They challenge Bad Influence tonight to a tag match. 85. Filthy Animals defeat Doring and Roadkill. It's got 76. That's not too bad. To be honest, Doring and Roadkill just need TV time. So, that's all they need. Uh, a bit of banter between Scott Steiner and Nigel McGuinness. And then it turns physical. Booker T, Raph, Canyon, Karina all get involved. Official split them up. Another 100 segment. I thank you. Dustin Rose back in action to beat Jerry Lynn with the Darkness Falls. That's got a 77. Bagwell and Douglas attack Chad and Ken Shamrock backstage, but only end up getting beaten up themselves. 99. Three way tag match. AMW upset Steiner Warriors and they beat the Enforcers. They hit the death sentence, pick up the win. 70. Cruiserweight match, Shane Helms retains, defeats Taka Mishinuku with, a, with the Vertebraker. 8 is pretty decent. Monty Brown's in a ring, but Jeff Jarrett runs down, a broad erupts. Jarrett gets the upper hand and hits a low blow, grabs a guitar from under the ring, smash over the skull. Brown is down and out, 99, so obviously these angles are much better now they're opponents. Good. Great chemistry. Daniel Bryan defeats Hiroshi Hayes with the label lock. Got an 81. Sting and Alex Luger defeat Bad Influence. Sting makes Kazarian tap out with a Scorpion death lock. 78. That's still pretty good considering, you know, Daniel's and Kazarian's over. Well, especially Kazarian's overness. Uh, the, the standard one I do quite a lot. The face off, no contact. O'Hare, Goldberg. Trying to come to blows before their title match at a pay-per-view. 100. Samoa Joe defeats DDP by submission following a distraction from AJ Styles. 80. 
Final match, DDP is being attacked. Hogan, Sting, Luger make the save. I've obviously repositioned these the wrong way around, but never mind. And then it leads to an eight-man brawl. 88. This was the main event. A bit of a random one. Ric Flair, Mike Awesome. They defeat CM Punk and Vampiro. Punk makes Vampiro tap out to the figure four. I had a uh, Kurt Henning on commentary because it sort of continues their feud. Anyway, yeah, 87 is pretty pretty good go home show leading into the pay per view. So many news about developmental wanting calling up APW RIP it looks like all pro wrestling Canadian wrestling Canadian wrestling John Cena definitely starting to shine in developmental Standard 11 news of people wanting called up from, oh, hello, Kazayoshi. Wins the Exhibition Championship for the second time. He's starting to turn into a really decent worker as well. Kazayoshi versus Paul London got a 65. That was the main event in the development. Stephen Richards looking good. Right, so up next, well, not quite next, but in a minute. Alright, we're up to Sunday. Fun day. Anything major? John Cena again, the star. Shaggy two dope giants. Right up next will be full brawl. Main event will be Sean O'Hare versus Goldberg for the world title. Okay, full brawl is ready. An absolutely stacked card. Here we go. So before the show. The pre-show, technically the pre-show, but it's on the show. On the show, before the show, yeah, who knows. Anyway, Danny, the Naturals, uh, actually get beat by Danny Doring and Roadkill. Hmm. I left that winner blank on that one, but it's nice for them to pick up a win. Uh, 57. Uh, a 30-man battle royal, just because I wanted to put everyone on the card. So, uh, it looks like Dustin Rose won. Final four, Road Warrior Animal, Chris Harris and Shane Helms. Red Warrior Animal being the final elimination, and Shane Helms got the most eliminations. 74. Uh, Lance Storm, CM Punk, and Vampiro defeat the Filthy Animals. Just again, they're now pretty high on the card, so in October I'll be looking to use Punk, Vampiro, and Lance Storm a lot better. 81. So here's your boom, boom, boom. The pyro, the lights, the running down of the card, introduce everyone to the show, 75. So the main card, Nigel McGuinness defeats Scott Steiner with a fast roll up and keeps the United States title, 78. A feud ender, Dangerous by Design defeat Bagwell and Douglas, Chad Collar picking up the win with the Texas Cloverleaf. It's a huge win for Chad and Ken Shamrock here. 79. And yeah, like I said, a few dender. Because I've got a few new ideas for next month. Another few dender. Kurt Henning picks up the win against Ric Flair. He wins two falls to one. Now, the obvious one was to give Henning the win. Um, to give Flair the win here. But I felt, why not push Kurt Henning? Why not? Mr. Perfect. 84. 
Final match, Ric Flair's helped to the back by Mike Awesome, who's been his uh, his friend throughout this feud. We've got a nice reception from the fans. Good show of respect. 89. And I'm actually very happy about this one. In a decent match, bad influence. AJ Styles, Chris Daniels, Frankie Kazarian, and Samoa Jeff Joe defeat Hollywood Hogan, DDP, Sting, and Luger. Kazarian was eliminated first, then Daniels, then Joe, so that left AJ on his own, who then eliminated Luger, DDP, Sting, and then Hogan. So AJ was a one man army. Anyway, 82, this feud is continuing. And hopefully that will give them some huge popularity. They didn't even argue. So I gave AJ the win and I didn't even complain. So A feud ender. Because of something big here. It's going to be a shock turn. Uh, the leaders of the new school defeat Booker T and Raph in a cage match. When Steve Carino defeated Booker T by pinfall when he hit the new school encounter following a turn by Raph. Leader of the new school become two time tag team champions. So Raph has just heel turned on Booker T. He's got a 90. Following the match, Carino and Canyon don't hang around. They take their titles ahead to the back. Raph is standing over a fallen Booker T after costing them the match. But he isn't finished. He pulls Booker T up and hits a huge meltdown. Raph slides out the ring, assuming it's through the doors. He brings the steel steps in. He picks Booker up again and hits another meltdown. This time on the steel steps. Eventually, agents and officials lead Raph away. But major damage has been done. 100. This will be a new feud. Raph against Booker T. Wow, I wasn't expecting that rating. And it was a feud ender as well. An exceptional match. Monty Brown defeats Jeff Jarrett with a pounce. And it got a 97. That is... Wow, yeah. This was their pretty much one and only match. And in the main event, Sean O'Hare defeats Goldberg with the Widowmaker after a distraction from Eric Bischoff. This got 93, it's 8 for title defence. Following the match, Boss Man slides a nightstick to O'Hare. The duo take turns and beating down Goldberg. The time up in the ropes. Goldberg's got bleeding from the head. Bischoff walks up and gets a couple of his karate kicks in. And then he celebrates with O'Hare and Boss Man lifting their arms in the air in victory. And I got a 100. 94 for the pay-per-view should probably give Monty Brown and Jeff Jarrett some praise here because they uh, They actually put on a very good performance And I think AJ Styles So yeah 94 for the pay-per-view Solid solid end to the To the month of September And I'm going to be tweaking my roster a little bit as well. I'll be doing a few call-ups, I think. Oh, what have we got here? Paul Perra to resign. Wow. Okay, so this is an update. Uh, there's a lot of news. You've got Just Incredibles contracts up. Raven, The Rock, Lance Storm, uh, Rob Conway. For some reason, I have him on my Lance Cade, Chuck Palumbo. Shane Helms, David Flair, Alex Wright, Bam Bam Bigelow, Norman Smiley, Sting, and The Rock. Well, I said The Rock twice. So Paul Bearer. Uh, I don't really need him to be honest, so I won't be. Uh, I won't be bringing him in. And he could. He could go quite well with Vampiro, maybe. Oh, Linda Miles must be Jackie Gader. I'm tough enough here. So The Rock. And he will talk to me. Wow. Okay, so The Rock wants 120000 a month. And he's currently away for three months at the moment filming. Just debating in my head now. Do I sign The Rock? 
full brawl. Got a 94. That looks like uh, Yoshi Tatsu. Yeah, it is Yoshi Tatsu. Dr. Wagner. You know, there's so many people I'll, I'm going to have a little punt for, I think. I should definitely be going for Raven. I'm a big fan of Raven. So I'll be going for him. So much. This is, yeah, I suppose we're nearly end. Oh, Vader. Ooh, that could be interesting. This menace is eighth. I could use, I could make Vader great again. Wow, there is, oh my god, so many, uh, so many contracts coming up. So, still scrolling. We've got 154 news to get through here. Oh, do you remember him from the WWE days? I wonder if uh, they're going to go for Sting. Sting's contract and Lance Storm's contract's up. Hey, hey look, Scotty Too Hotty. Just Incredible. I like Just Incredible. It'll be a good Mikada. So I'm going to probably bring him in. I might have to make another developmental. I see. <laughs> Steve Blackman. A lot of all Japan. Bark Gun? Yeah, that's Bark Gun, yeah. Kenzo Suzuki. Deborah. Just put a lot of that was Eddie Cologne, Primo. Is that Kamala? Robert Conway. Huh. The one to watch, Viscera. I'm not really sure who she was in WWE, but. But as you can see, oh, look, Bull Buchanan. Huh, well, I've got Boss Man. Huh, Tiger Ali Singh. As you can see, there's plenty of contracts to. Uh, to look at and then big trouble in this British company mm. let's have a look temp takeover no they, they don't want me to anyway that is the end of this uh, this month's video We've got some contracts to sort uh, auto push let's have a look at my main roster so even though they got a big win AJ Styles is over and this is only low 60s. Although Joe's is mid 60s. Kazarian, so Frankie Kazarian's first month, he went from overness of 20 to overness of 40. So he, he's doubled in overness. Goldberg's fine. Daniels is in the 60s now. Stinger's okay. Page is okay. They're starting to drop a bit. Obviously, the older, older ones, but that's what happens if I let them get beat. Jarrett's is looking nice, and Monty Brown's looking nice. I'm gonna be doing some new feuds, tweaking some stuff, and uh, as always, thank you everybody for giving my video a watch again feel free to leave a comment let me know what you like or don't like and uh as always take care